Hey guys, Paul Parkinen here, and today we'll be learning how to build a helicopter. First, let's build the rotor. Place your dedicated helicopter spinner above the center of mass. Next, place the helicopter blades. We'll want the larger side facing in the direction the blade is spinning. Our helicopter blades will be spinning clockwise. Once that's done, we'll change the helicopter spinner motor drive to around 4. You'll most likely have to raise or lower this once we place our automated control blocks depending on how heavy your helicopter is. And we'll change the always up fraction to 1. Second, place down two automated control blocks. These will control your helicopter rotor speed. One will control the minimum height, the other will control the maximum height. We'll use this one to control the max height. In inputs, we'll set it to activate when altitude greater than. Under affected, we'll change it to spin blocks, and under effect, we'll select set rotation speed. In the control panel, we'll change the input. This is the max height you want your helicopter to hover at. For my helicopter, I'll use 129. Next, we'll change the effect. You'll want to set this low enough so your helicopter loses altitude. You'll most likely have to adjust this after we set the minimum height. I'll set mine to around 6. Next, we'll use the other control block to control the minimum height. In inputs, we'll set it to activate when altitude less than. Under affected, we'll change it to spin blocks, and under effect, we'll select set rotation speed. In the control panel, the input is how low you want your helicopter to go. I'll set mine to 125. The effect is how fast your helicopter blades will spin. You'll want to raise this so your helicopter gains altitude. On my helicopter, I'll be setting this to 10.9. If your helicopter hasn't taken off yet, then try raising this number until your helicopter gains altitude. If this number is at 30 and your helicopter still hasn't taken off, try raising your helicopter spinner motor drive. Next, we'll place down the AI and the AI card slot. Then place the aerial AI card. After that, we'll edit the aerial AI settings. Change the angle of deviation before turn to a low number to keep the helicopter facing its target. I'll set mine to 7. Next, change the angle of deviation before we roll to turn to 180. This prevents the helicopter from using roll when it's turning. Then change your cruising altitude to what your maximum height was on your automated control block and change your minimum altitude to what your minimum height was on your other control block. You usually want to keep these numbers closed to keep the helicopter in a stable hover. My max and min height for my control block was 129 and 125, 
So I've set my cruising altitude to 129 and my minimum altitude to 125. Next, we'll change the distance beyond which we begin our attack run. This sets how far away your helicopter will begin its attack run. On my helicopter, I found that 150 is a good distance as I don't want my helicopter hovering directly over the target. After that, we'll change the distance below which we abort attack run. This sets how close your helicopter will get to the target before it starts another attack run. On my helicopter, I'll set this to 50. Next, we'll change the elapsed time before we force another attack run to 15. After that, we'll want to place some type of forward thrust. You want to keep the thrust on the same level as your center of mass, or as close as possible. If your thrust is too high or too low, your helicopter will tilt up or down when it's moving forward. Once that's done, we'll place some tailplane blocks. These help the helicopter turn when it's moving forward. Be sure these are placed at the tail of your helicopter. Once that's finished, your helicopter's done. You have to adjust some of these settings to fit your helicopter's needs, but I hope this gives you an overall idea of how helicopters work in From the Depths. If you're having trouble or have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.